A woman of enviable ambition, a mother with great hopes for her children, and a partner who stands equal to her husband. All these have become possibilities in Cameroon, a country plagued by poverty, gender inequality, and low education levels. And these are the achievable future of the Income Generation Project by Goodness and Mercy Missions. This is the story of Mrs. Mugen Elizabeth Garnimo, who lives in Jichami village in the northwestern part of Cameroon. Mother to five children, Mrs. Mugen has been a part of the Income Generation Project for two years. Prior to participating in the project, she only had money when somebody gave her something occasionally. On some months, she may not even have up to 3,000 francs. However, now she has from 15,000 to 20,000 francs per month. On certain months, her income for the family may even double if she can sell the palm oil well. Besides monetary increment, Mrs. Mugen expressed that because of the income generation project, it has improved the family's diet in the house, made things easy for her children in school, gave them a positive mindset as they could now study without any embarrassment or worry of poverty or dropping out of school. Her children need not do out jobs during holidays, which were also poorly paid. Her husband has also supported the project fully as he saw it as a blessing for the family. For Mrs. Mugin, she felt that most people respected her more. When asked what was the most important change in her life after joining the project, her reply was, My children finding easy at school. Like Mrs. Mugin, many women have benefited from the GMM Income Generation Project. Goodness and Mercy Missions was founded in late 2007 as a non-profit organization by Mr. Tay Francis Yai. In 2011, GMM launched the Women Income Generation Project aiming to empower the women living in the rural areas in Cameroon. The project established the following objectives as key to empower the women. Today in Jingfuin community, GMM has 150 women enrolled in the Women Income Generation Project. The results have proved itself. There has been a greater generation of self-sustainable income for the family, greater promotion of gender equality, and also higher participation rate of women in the community. Family's diet has also improved. Children of participating women are also attending school regularly, alongside a reduction of number of children engaged in inadequate jobs. Sustainability is key. A replicated project in a new village will reach self-sufficiency within the fourth month of its operation. Adding to the process is a democratic way of forming lending norms, as well as presence of peer pressure in helping to reduce defaults and ensuring timely payments. Administrative cost is kept minimal. Women groups can also leverage on their social capital to form linkages with formal lending institutions, civil societies and agriculture agencies for further diversification. With a sustainable process as well as proven structural strategies and informal group norms, it leads to sustainability. Besides being sustainable, the project is also scalable. The model can be easily replicated as the need for physical resources is minimal. Reporting and accounting formats are easy to understand, even for women with little education. Internal activities are managed by its participants and thus, transparency and flexibility result. As such, any community where women with a common desire to support and ensure their children's education can come together and replicate the project with any other business model. As you can see in the graphic, based on poverty and inequality statistics provided by the World Bank in April 2014, based on the International Poverty Lines PPP, the number of poor stands at 8.19 million, which accounts for 42.88% of the population within Cameroon. The number of women represents 52% of the population within Cameroon. The project not only betters women's lives, but also that of their family and the community. Women engaged in the project have become more confident about themselves and are also more participative in the community as they do not feel limited by their gender. Men have also changed their thoughts about the role of women in the community and some husbands are supporting and motivating their wives to keep participating in the project. With sufficient startup funds, this project can occur in more regions of rural Cameroon and later propagate itself further. In time, we will be able to take some numbers off from the poverty line.